In this video, we present an interactive system for exploring collections of models from the same shape category. Our interface consists of two panes. The ROI pane shows user-selected regions of interest on one or more example shapes. And the results pane shows a view of the collection, sorted based on the ROIs. Our system leverages fuzzy correspondences, described in detail in the paper, to address a few key exploration challenges. First, most real-world model collections do not have a consistent orientation, which makes it hard to see similarities and differences between shapes. For example, to visually compare this set of Boeing airplanes, the user has to manually adjust the orientation of individual models. We use fuzzy correspondences to automatically align models to a consistent viewpoint. Our technique can align collections with significant geometric diversity, such as these chairs. In addition, if the user selects a specific region of interest, we align the shapes based on the selection and automatically reposition the center of the camera's trackball so that the user can easily inspect the ROI from different viewpoints. We emphasize the corresponding regions by highlighting them in blue. Once the models are consistently aligned, the user explores different types of variation by selecting regions of interest on an example shape. Here, the user paints on the tail of an airplane, and the results paint towards the rest of the collection based on tail shape. We see that a few other planes have a similar high tail, while many others have a lower tail. To help users understand where variations occur within the collection, we visualize the amount of conservation across different regions of the shape. The least conserved regions, shown in pink, are where the most variations occur. For example, if the user selects the base of this chair, he sees other chairs with similar stems, but also a wide range of other bases. In addition to ordering the results based on similarity to the example, the user can choose to see a selection of the most different shapes based on the selected region. This gives the user a sense for the range of variation without having to scroll through several results pages. A key feature of our system is that the user can select arbitrary regions of interest that do not align with predefined part boundaries. For example, here the user selects just a portion of the back and front legs of this chair to find other shapes with a similar arrangement of angled legs. And here, the user specifies a region somewhere in the middle of this bowl-shaped chair and discovers other chairs where the seat smoothly blends into the back and arms. In this bike collection that contains both bicycles and motorbikes, this query returns mainly motorbikes with seats that extend above the rear wheel. For this collection of animals, we use intrinsic geometry in our analysis, which allows us to find correspondences across different poses. Then, by selecting regions of interest, the user can sort the models based on the example pose, as shown here. Note that if the user does not select the dog's front left paw, the sitting cat with one paw up bubbles to the front of the list. We also used intrinsic geometry to process the scape dataset of human poses. Selecting portions of the limb and torso gives the user an intuitive way to sort based on pose. For example, by selecting the shoulders and chest of this shape, the user finds poses with arms extended out to the sides, rather than hanging down. And by selecting the midsection of this shape, the user can distinguish poses that are bent at the hip and waist. Finally, if the user selects regions on multiple example shapes, our system sorts the results based on the combined criteria which enables a form of faceted navigation. For example, these two facets indicate upright poses, where the arms are near or above the head.